I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Now get out! At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. I 
How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. So it won't really have much of a market for philosophy these days. There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Oh, that's it for now, I think. And thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Again, what is down comes up. The seed is sowed. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a P.I. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth are ridden. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. Port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. 
proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tame? Did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman... Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Throgmorton's son. He was unconscious. Barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst. And he woke up. And... After that, I don't remember a thing. Just... Dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant. A voice that called me... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. 
Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was out of starf. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outside of show some respect. Kay is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or Kay? Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Five cards short of a full house. seen knives like this before. Master for work. So that's what an inn's mouther looks like. Choo choo. <clears throat> I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Ah! <sighs> 
Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. So the fishermen pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Exaggerating when he said he raised him strong.
one fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Brock. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea, others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Bye. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered, and many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. I think I'd like my bullet back. It is what it is. The truth will out soon. Me, I just caught an early glimpse. Ah, <sighs> why do I feel like I got scammed? What the? Get them! Oh! Hey, 
Who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so... I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. What kind of... Uh, why do you, you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I won't tell him. Everyone seems to agree there's been an outbreak of madness around these parts. I'm inclined to believe you fell victim to it, too. Plus, that seems heartless to tear apart a family after what you've been through already. Oh, thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. That said, the port's still closed. What will you do? Hide here, I guess. Don't have a choice. 
The streets are flooded with police. I'll make something up to tell Throgmorton. Leave as soon as you can. Thank you again, sir. I won't forget this. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Just as I suspected, the Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kate, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant drowns streets. And a voice calming from the depths. Her words exactly. 
She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Do you think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Never again, they say. <sighs> no matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return.
Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You wanna stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Sorry, but who are you again? You bang your head or something? I'm Victor Olmstead. I own the place. This place. The Devil's Reef Hotel. Noise? What... what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? <sighs> Got any proof it was me? It could have been one of my neighbors. I slept like a rock. I... I didn't hear a thing. Pfft. That's exactly what a newcomer would say. Your neighbors are respectable people and would never do such a thing. Don't think your yellow-clad patron means you get away with everything. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. I don't need the key. Are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition? from. Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. Say I ever saw another shell like it.
the papers. Smash the rest. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. I fatah me a fei regach. I dagon. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Uh, guess this helmet's beyond repair. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the Archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll, uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. See you later. Stand up to them. Please help me. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? Uh, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know.
dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. What happened on the Titania? It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water, and then... Well... Then the wild beasts came to feast. This Sanders. What kind of man is he? Uh, newcomer. Seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh... Did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I bet my life no one else made it back. spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. Cape Cod. There were marks here, but they've been erased. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. Shot dead. Point blank. They emptied every chamber. Ah, still stinks of burnt powder. You telling me we ain't allowed rum? <laughs> ah, you can't take me. Eat this. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't a to the mayor with you. Ugh. Die. Die. Ugh. You can't take me. Eat this. For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away.
patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? My head? Uh, no complaints. I'm good. Well, you're the exception these days. We're simply overflowing with patients. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. Uh, those are Jim Bells. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. to you, mister. Pete, explosion, fishing with dynamite, oh, hurts talking. Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship? I'm sure. Oh, please, leave. Bye. Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eating leeches ever again, no sir. Scratch me. Please, please. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Some psycho in a bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. Y you should probably look somewhere else. Get better soon. Left. <laughs> That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed. I'm a newcomer. I'm looking for the source of the Oakmont visions. We had them. My crew and I. And during the expedition, the dreams. Well, you can't understand, Mr. Reed. You weren't there. I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? I 
Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You... Uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters, mark my words. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. What were you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really. We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No. No. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Get better soon. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit.
again. The chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. Not finished here yet. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have mocked me. The suits are all cut up. Ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throg Morton. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throg Morton. Hark, he comes! The sacred, full bellied bearer of splendor! Take me, make me, I beg you! Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, uh, our, our eyes! First, second, 
Third, opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake, you holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. A perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? to the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! I'm starting to get the picture. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up. Okay. What? It's shivering. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And the Innsmouthers stole it and the Professor in one go.
I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed, in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? Captain Sanders abandoned them, sailed away from the dive point. The fear, the... the visions, they got to him. Sanders. I'll see that he doesn't have long to regret his cowardice. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the Professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? The Innsmouthers. They knew about the temple. They waited there, hiding until the Professor took what the Innsmouthers call the seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? It seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers! Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet, and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters, so shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Have a good day.
officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. Titanic forces are at work, infinitely greater than ourselves, unknowable, incomprehensible. There will be sacrifice, there will be loss, there will be darkness. But these are the hallmarks of a pivotal moment in time, and each of us has a part to play. I guess this city wouldn't be complete without a doomsday prophet. Let me assure you, I am anything but. I am called Ebernote Blackwood, and this is the place I have chosen to share my message. Please, come to one of my full sermons. Ah, uh, Charles Reed. Good to meet you. Blackwood, you're a member of the Grand Family. I am, indeed, the last of that line, inheritor of an empty mansion and a severed history. I'll see you around. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Ah, <sighs> I'm not in the mood, newcomer. If you want to talk, see Anna. She's in Fish? Shop. Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. What is the EOD? I mean... What what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. It's been great chatting with you, but... I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. 
No offense, Charlie. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. And ever since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. See you later. Do you want a fishy? Uh, this used to be an okay place to live. Uh, this used to be an okay place. What are you selling, Mister? I don't see any goods. I offer what everyone in this Borg needs most. Safety and comfort. You a newcomer? Where are you staying? The Devil's Reef Hotel. <laughs> oh, old Victor always thinks so small. A man of your talents could earn his board a hundred ways. Maybe you want some more spending money? And a job for a private eye, mister? I'm always up for a good side gig. Huh. That's what I like to hear. I'm Walter. I need someone capable to take care of an issue on my property. Let me guess. You need a gun for hire. Or is there another task? I need you to place these incense burners on the top floor of my properties to drive off the wild beasts. Take a photo for me as proof. Smoke that repels wild beasts. Does that even work? Of course it will. Well, okay. Just give me the address. See you later. I serve the sea. Hannah sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. <sighs> I see me praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Can you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. Yeah, not much to tell, sadly. It was a man that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe. If not for his, uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. And what did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. 
He was way faster than me. What's the deal with the, the password and such? Orders from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Things dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. Just a little bit 
Poisoned the fish with an unknown substance. That made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Hey, this is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Don't worry, I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still... I've done wrong, and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh... You go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. See ya. May the sea protect you. Don't be shy. Leave enough for everyone. What's fish? your problem, fresh fish? I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. If you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? He deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> 
Charlie. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. You were a student there, I take it. Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. See you later. Thank you.